real tough automatic shotgun. After 1,500 rounds of continuous rapid fire, this Model 1100 is still going strong. Not one malfunction, even though it's so hot, the fore end's actually beginning to smoke. in the brook. We did, just to see what would happen. Cool it off and see if you've still got yourself a shotgun. A working shotgun. You've got one. took a couple of computers to get it to design this automatic. Probably the only gun of any kind ever worked out this way. Strange looking gun designs, aren't they? But all we wanted in the Model 1100 was everything. And that raised an awful lot of questions about shotguns that no one had the answers to. Questions that are a computer's meat. If you know how to set up the circuits, turn the knobs, get out the curves and numbers, and then interpret what it all means and what the computer is saying. And so the computers began to turn out all kinds of information about how the action of an automatic really behaves at high speed, how well different metals function, how moving parts rebound from one another, and so on. For example, the machine said that the gas port should be much closer to the chamber than anyone had thought, a suggestion that paid some real dividends. The gas pressure is extremely high at this point, so only a thin jet of gas need be vented off to drive the action. And because this jet of gas is so hot, it should vaporize dirt and actually clean the action as the gun is fired. We began making up test guns to check out these and other ideas. In this cutaway gun, the gas port is colored red. Hot gas under high pressure shoots through the port and drives back a piston and the hard steel inertial sleeve that moves the action bars. As you'll see later, a lot of recoil is soaked up right here. High-speed photography shows this system at work. With a low base load, the driving piston moves back to a vent in the gas cylinder that releases the gas. With a high base load, it moves even further, releasing this excess pressure automatically without any adjustment required from the shooter. Here's the whole system at work, revealing, among other things, the perfect ejection of a fired shell and the smooth feeding of a new one. take anybody's word for it that we had a good thing going on the Model 1100. Neither the computers nor ours. We started building the guns and pounding the daylights out of them so we would end up with the toughest automatic shotgun ever made. On this dry cycle machine, we cocked and fired them over and over again, hundreds of thousands of times. Another machine, we pounded the bolts with all kinds of simulated loads to find and eliminate any weaknesses in them. The idea that a heavier inertial sleeve would soak up recoil wasn't taken for granted either. We built a special kick meter to test it, fired a conventional automatic, and recorded its kick on the oscilloscope. Reading left to right, we see that not much happens until the action hits and then, ouch, a peak shoots up indicating the sock to the shoulder. Then we wired up the 1100 to see what kind of a recoil pattern it would produce on the oscilloscope screen. What kind of a profile of shoulder force would now be registered? the other one, but it's spread out, showing that there's less of the single whack to the shoulder, about 40% less. 
all of which was fine, except that we wanted to know everything about this gun. Like, how would it work for a hunter out for hours in a soaking rain? Would it be ready? To find out, we subjected the gun to a long soaking. it in a dirty bottom or in sand or silt. Dust or dirt all over the gun and in the action too. Be sure the barrel's clear and then see. Real cold. 32 below, for example, in the deep freeze overnight. A lot can happen to metal and to moving parts when it's that cold. Find out. Probably no gun was ever as thoroughly tested as this one. Over half a million shells were fired through 1100s before they were put on the market. Spend thousands of them just checking out cold. Because finish counts too. And there's a bowling pin finish on these stocks. A new DuPont finish that's awfully hard to beat up and impossible to beat. Look it over and see for yourself. Not a mark. This one can really take the punishment. It penetrates the wood and stabilizes the grain. A beautiful, tough, transparent finish. Take that finish out in all kinds of weather. We did, on the roof of our plant at Ilion in upstate New York, where the winters are rough. Leave it there through a grueling winter of rain and sleet and sun and piles of snow and see how it stacks up. of stocks has been here a lot longer than that, and conventional finishes have deteriorated. But the 1100 finish has not. All of these things are parts of the research history of the 1100. Throw in another fact. You can interchange barrels quickly and simply. Go from a long-range full choke barrel to an open skeet barrel in a few seconds. Forget facts and just take a look at one of these guns. Standard grade. Look at the neat white spacer at the butt plate and the way the finish shows off the grain of the wood. Look at the fine line checkering like expensive custom work and the teardrop grip cap with its diamond inlay. at the decorative scroll work and the highly polished finish of the receiver, outside and in. The bolt too, chromed and inscribed. And the forend with its fleur-de-lis pattern, and again, fine line checkering. Custom throughout in a standard grade gun. And how does it shoot? at Skeet, a perfectly balanced gun that practically points itself. Oh! 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 A great gun for women and girls, tireless with its light oh. recoil. And 
this is unquestionably the trap gun. And for doubles, too, where light recoil means getting on your second target quicker. This goes for game, too, for that matter. to the field for anything. Yes, sir, that sure is a real shotgun. Makes you want to get out there every day. Yeah, it's enough to make a man quit work. This gun will hold five shots. But today's a three-shot day, so we're using the three-shot plug. Dog, you. Let's see if you can learn some new tricks. Come on and meet a pheasant. It's always time to go, but maybe we'll get back tomorrow. And you'd better get down to your dealer today if you want to take a look at the greatest automatic shotgun ever made.